Before we begin, collect these materials. All right, guys, we are almost here to our final lesson. Just one more week for this school year, and then we'll be done. Woohoo! It's time to party. But what we're going to do today and this week in art is talking about repeated patterns. Now, these types of patterns are going to fill up whole spaces. So here, think about patterns just repeats themselves. So big, medium, small, big, medium, small, and then these are just diagonal lines, a different kind of like piping line. It just follows the same thing that's called parallel, 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 because the two lines side by side, they keep repeating and they never touch. We have wave patterns, we have X patterns, we have a zigzag with dots up and down, and then we have a whole grid. All different types of patterns. The world, you could come up with a new pattern. But today, what we are going to do, since it's summertime just about, and thinking about the water and the rain during the summer and the sunshine, we are going to make a picture scene of a boat on some water filled with all different patterns. So we're about to go look and see exactly step by step what to do, but you can make it your own. In fact, please do. I enjoyed it so much that I made two different ones. So I hope you guys have fun too. And I'm really excited about your work. So if you haven't seen it or showed it to me, please send it because I want to see it. All right, love you all. Grab half a sheet of white paper and start painting it with your blue or green food coloring. As you're doing so, think about making the bottom darker than the top because the deep dark sea is darker than the bright blue sky. Then once the paper is dry, that is when you can start adding wave lines. Does not matter exactly what kind of wave lines they look like. You can add one, then another one, and then just keep going. Kind of like Dory. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Paint those wave lines. You got it. A tip is take your marker and hold it at an angle on its side so you can make your wave lines big, fat, and chubby. After you finish your last wave line, then you're gonna draw a little tiny boat. Since the majority of our picture is blue or a cool color, we want to add contrast and emphasis by painting our boat a warm color. So go ahead, choose yellow, orange, and what's the missing one? Red to your boat, your choice. And once you do that, then it's time to add our patterns. Fill up your waves with all sorts of different patterns. Can't wait to see it. Keep going. Remembering that the boat is all safe and secure, even amidst the storm, with Jesus in it. 